ultimately that patient had mold. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Now I have to pay attention and try to understand this and, and test for this. And then um, I had patients start coming who knew they had Lyme disease by various, you know, testing and, and interaction with providers like yourself. And I knew the traditional things we we're taught in medical school about infectious Lyme disease. But like these presentations are just out they're just way out there sometimes, you know, for me. So like, I don't ever discount anything anymore. I just feel like everybody's been exposed to whether it's parasite, Lyme, mold, and and those are the things that seemingly are the, the mysteries that give you some of these presentations that are so confusing, confusing to, you know, practitioners that then ultimately patients, you know, to do their research and find us. So I say, what makes this person so special? A lot of times it could be complications due to environmental toxins. I treat a lot of patients who have mycotoxin illness, which makes it even more difficult to recover from Lyme. I have patients who have compromised immune systems, so I might have to do immune boosting agents, IVIG, certain medications, just to get their immune system more robust. And not to mention, like I said, that autoimmune driver that exists as well. 